that are lurking on the sides of the map. Overpass, for example, first pick coming out from Imperial. You're going to see him outside that B area frequently. And even on Mirage, he gets to control a lot of that A bomb site once he switches to the defense there. So he gets a lot of autonomy. He has a lot of responsibility on his own. But the thing is that Imperial trusts him. Anytime he wants to make an aggressive mood, it seems like everybody on a Imperial is on board for that. So I think that he's definitely going to be the player to watch, especially given the maps that we're seeing here. I love this video. I absolutely love this video. Imperial on overpass, unbeaten so far the last three months. They win every single time they played. Given they're not playing against some of the top positions, given that
if he can find the tidbit of information and then call the team to place four men on the B-bomb side, it doesn't matter whether force are stronger individuals if they're meeting a brick wall in terms of Imperial players. I also want to throw Bolt into the mix on this specific mm -hmm. map. Yeah. His average rating in those six wins they've had is 1.35. This man is a menace on the defense side as well. He's really rock solid, always good for two, so look out for Bolt. If they can't Control. handle him, they're...我操,這老牛 
Better build. You Yeah,有打敌，还有打敌。上车左两步能看到。对对对，这款。Be playground push and for that reason easy 3-0 yeah we know i had mibr to uh win that last map but uh, that last series but of course b and e just showed so much heart so much strength and they leave imperial as the one brazilian team in the challenger stage to potentially make it through and yeah, they're, they're trying to carry that mantle for the entire country of course the, the amount of fans behind this roster is just unparalleled uh especially being able to have f and x back in the server is even, I mean, just for me, like... FNX is tagged, that Vinny was low, and that Fallen almost died on that entry as well. 